everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I just had a weird recording issue and I hope it doesn't affect the previous episode. Editing me will know. Um, but yeah. Hopefully things don't mess up. Maybe my computer needs a break. I don't know. But uh, I saved prior to having us go up here to fight this thing. And since... I am aware of it. I really don't have anybody that can take advantage of stealth anything. And there's like, I don't think there's really a way to like get up there. I think this is just kind of a, um, Breathe we're all in it to win it. Cause that's just how I operate as a person. Oh, are, is this a, in a clearly li I mean, I am, I guess... What do you mean, surprised? I could see it coming from a mile away! <sighs> okay, well, these guys are not what I... Oh, boy, I did not want to deal with these guys. By any means. Good move. Well, it's a good thing I saved right before this, because uh, this many of these guys is uh, not good. It is not good. Uh... I say that, but I'm actually gonna... Doesn't grant any additional benefits. Okay, we'll just cast it at one. Mage armor. Can I actually... Is that... I feel like that's not very accessible, so I'm gonna put him over there. Dang it! That means I'm gonna have to fight from... Me, personally, I'm gonna have to fight from, like, right here. Can't use action surprise. Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, you can get up there! That's cool, love that. Uh, no, we need to- I can't fight this thing, right? I can't fight this guy with Gale. And these dead Harpers came back. Yep, nope. I'm not doing this. Not gonna do it. Nope! 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 Not with Gale. Switch him out with- I don't know. What's his name? Why can't I have more Moon Lanterns? Just need to grab some pixies and stick them in the broken ones. Put some duct tape on there. I just realized I don't have Moonbeam anymore and that makes me very sad. I was really enjoying that spell while I had it. Oh! They blew up on each other. The fireball was really epic. Unfortunately, I did melt the ice, uh, which is not good. Not good. Uh, but you know. I'm hoping for the best. I can't even catch one. What I'm hoping for is that I can use Turn Undead on this Harper. And that will be good for us, I hope. Well, there goes my own dead, so, uh... Honestly, I don't mind. Just going to town on these things. With the fireballs, because they are, uh, they're real crap to deal with, honestly. 
Wow, this guy all of a sudden got real, real beefy. Don't, don't die, Gail. Wow, why? Why all of a sudden? Branding smite. What did I even do to this thing? Oh! <laughs> well, that's nice, I guess. She was at such a low chance for that, and somehow she managed it. Did you die yet? No, you're still alive. What a bummer. Ah. I'm going to enjoy this. Are we done being digested now? Sweet. Okay. Well. Damn, it's good to be alive. Listen. Not worth. Um, I do want to see if we can maybe talk to the Harpers if they're dead dead now. Well, let's see what's up here. Oh, save. After a fight like that? Well, somebody drank themselves to death. Ragged diary. For me to think I'd fare better than the other treasure hunters in this god's cursed wasteland, but the promise of a cursed beast as a trophy was a temptation I couldn't leave behind. Bloody needle blights took me by surprise, I'm not sure how. How could I have expected anything less? It's all so much worse than I imagined. Found a key up here, but unless it unlocks a chest full of water in the sunlight, I have no use for it. Oh, where's your key at? Key. No idea what the key would open. Oh, that. Maybe this. Come on over, everyone. I believe in you. Ring of self-immolation. Send that to Gale, I guess. Seeing as how he already has a built-in self-immolation now at this point. Making sure there's nothing crazy on the outside. Oh, I was gonna see ah, excellent choice. If Better. he Oh, she saved on the Shadow Curse Vines. None of them are glowing. Probably not. The corpse right there. Yeah. Can't get okay. up here. Well, well that was an interesting like it was like a tiny little spot in the map that I hadn't Can't gone to down. yet. And look what was there. Quite a gnarly, gnarly show, honestly. I thought I went around all this stuff, and I thought this was like a dead end, but I guess not. Well, we are up here, and I am curious, so... Let's go. In a particular way with words, Gail. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. They're not mutually exclusive. As the Baron Weave is served best with a dash of eloquence. I have a moon lantern. Okay, what is this? I, I passed by this without seeing it. But there's a little trail here. The shadow curse hangs thick. Even those with oil smeared torches are not safe. Well, I have a good moon lantern torch. What is this? I thought I saw a chest, but maybe not. This was... We kind of passed through this area, it looks like. On the way in. Oh, where? Oh. See, look, I bring, I can dig with the moon lantern out. Why can't I hit things with the moon lantern out?
Until long rest. You can only use a grease bottle once. You're like, ooh, that was exhausting. Time for a nap. It kind of looks like this house is only accessible from down here. That's cool. Let's go. Oh, never mind. Oh, wow. We just... What? That door was open? I... Okay. It looked very unaccessible, but apparently not. Anything else in here? Silver, silver... I'm... Why am I stuck here? Move! Okay, well that's it. Oh, is there... Is there a basement? There is a basement. Oh, oh, I think I... Yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. No traps, please. Oh. Comfortable autumnal outfit. I will take that. Was it? Hymns for the Gone. A book of prayers to Kelmavor, the judge of the dead. Someone has annotated it with the following. There are the little saccharine. These are a little saccharine in places, but one or two of genuine merit as something more than religious dog world. Something that actually evokes the complicated feeling of loss and hope for the departed, their well being, and their eternal preservation in some paradise. Okay, I'll take that along. Oh? Not just going down. It's, it's a it's a fade to black. Okay. What is what? And there's an enemy. A mean lock. You guys are nasty. <laughs> wow, it almost has nothing. I'm surprised she survived. Holy cow! I think this is yeah. This is the cellar that I was looking into. This is the or looking from a uh hoe. Uh, and I was looking at this water, and oh ho ho ho! What do be this, Lazel? Eager for battle. I require your assistance, please. A simple task. Let's hope it is. Mm -hmm. mm. I woo! <laughs> I want to say I I believe, but I actually didn't. So. Be a lie. Well that ends. All right. Not as bad as it could. How is have. it in there? How is it? I see that chest over in the corner. Oh, a pouch of ashes. Was that? I don't know what that does me, but I've got it now. Is there not a secret mechanism here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this looks secret mechanismy. I bet you we should blow this up! I was gonna say, this is, and it's, oh, it's a cracked wall. I didn't see the cracked wall part, but I was like, this looks like a bricked-in hearth, so there's gotta be something there. And lo and behold, uh, there's rigging. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm in the wall! Why is it so bright? All right, had a bit of an interruption, but let's go out here. Seek and you shall find me. Whoa, no, calm down, calm down. Alright, nobody, nobody mind me. It's just still on fire. What? Oh! This is the, the rest of the cellar that I was in. Okay. Well, uh, that's exciting, and uh, a, whole, a whole bunch of nothing, apparently. But at least I solved the cracked wall puzzle. And I know that those mean locks or whatever are in there. Why does it- it sounds like we are jingling. Is that just a result of my heavy armor? I just make noise? You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's not gonna happen. I'm I'm stealthing it, but it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, you guys can see me. Oh, there's a way oh. I guess that does make sense. 
It, it wasn't like a wall of vines. It was just uh, dangling vines. 49. Do they all have 49? Oh, my gosh. Are you still afraid? Stop it. Wait, she's also afraid? Everybody's afraid except me? Oh, boy. Or we are within the, the proximity of fear. Whoop, cool. oh, okay. Oh, hey, it's a saloon thing over here. Oh, maybe it's a secret, uh, like, um, shrine to her when they started worshipping Shar. I mean, Zell's kicking butt. I did use the action, action surge, but jeez. Come on. Can't stay idle. Okay, things were getting hairy there for Gale. We had a bunch of guys teleport up here, and that was uh, gonna be no bueno. Like, I put this gas, or not gas, grease trap down here, and I was like, haha, and then they were like, haha, nothing personal, kid, and teleported behind me. I was like, behind him. I was like, Ugh. I don't get phone calls at all for weeks and months, it feels like. And then all of a sudden I get like five in one evening that are all from real people and not, uh, you know. Are, you, are we good? Not from scams. Yeah, that was weird. Also, I tried, I looked at them, I swear I examined them. And they, I did not see anything about fear resistance. I was curious. I thought they might be fear resistant because they exude fear, but I wasn't sure if I could, like, turn that back around on them, so I tried to use Dreadful Visage when they were surrounding me. It didn't work at all. But they don't have anywhere here. It doesn't say resistant to fear or anything. So that's, like, really mean. And I'm very upset a spaghetti about it. Colossal Onslaught. Some of her Wow, look at this stuff she can do. Oh, baby, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. <laughs> Fireball on the grease trap. Yeah, buddy. Just don't, please don't hit Gale. Okay, good. Oh, gee, everybody missed it. Cool. Oh, good. You guys uh, saved yourselves from the fear? That's nice. Okay, that was a... Why is Carlac having weird delays? Lizelle, Lizelle's a beast, honestly. Interesting. This... I was reading the... The cowl's description. Deep Dueras... I don't even know who she is. There's like a whole story there that I don't know. I never have Shadowheart during any of this stuff. Oh, wait a second. Is this the... It's like this is... I think these are like the, the Shadowlands infected pustules. I don't think there... I think there's some areas we could walk through here that don't have the pustules. But maybe this like necrotic light is the Shadowlands thing. Hidden amidst columns detailing the income and expenditure of a tavern is an aside written in tiny, urgent handwriting. I have concealed the sacred relics of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Cethric Thorm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together, we shall preserve what we can in the Moon Maiden's light and hope that the banners of the faithful soon rise against the treacherous dog, Thorm. Investigate the Selenite resistance. Show me. Press the J. Are we not in the Mason's Guild? Where the Mason's Guild at? Oh, I can't see it from here. Oh, there but there is there is more to see. Or yonder. Did I pick that up? Sometimes I feel like I should have, like, I think reading is normally enough. Might be useful. The side entrance key. Cool, I probably don't need that anymore. Selenite prayer book. I may have already read that. Oh, 
I'm not gonna steal from the goddess except for the books. I didn't mean type, I meant latest. Shoo their souls, blah 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 blah. Portrait of a snowy brown beard? Does that mean a white just a white guy with a beard? Of a snowy brown beard. Okay. Curious. I, I feel like it's... I don't know if it's just this area or what, but I am making so much noise. Ah! Why do I hear more creatures creaturing? Are they in here? Hang on, I saw... Pick up. I'm going to be encumbered and I'm going to put it down. I think fire wine explodes. Oops. Darling. Oh my gosh, I didn't even... Oh my gosh. Hang on, okay, I, I can't, I can't right now. Okay. Mm. I applaud your taste. Oh. Oh. I hit the spot. Okay. I'm probably just blowing up rooms that I've already been in. I'm like, mm, look at me, I'm finding secrets. And they're like, nope, actually. Oh. Destitute, breezy sandals. Rags. Nope, I did not want you to... Go wherever you're trying to go. I want you to open these doors. Oh? Okay. Whoa! Is this just back in the cellar where I was? It is. Oh, it's simply just another entrance, apparently. I'm finding all of them from the outside, not from the inside. Was it... Maybe I, I should have seen these double doors, but they had crates in front of them, so I probably was like, Oh yeah, nothing there. Turns out, no. You gotta... Never trust the crates, you know? If there's crates in front of a door, probably open it. Alright, well, I found a secret saloon... Uh, shrine. I'm happy. Happy about that. And, uh, Shadowheart would not be, but... She's not here to complain about it, so. Anyway, what was that? Blah, I got my endings mixed up. But anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Okay, I feel a little bit ski wampus, but I'm going to go ahead and call it here. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I want to say thank you to all my patrons really quick, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has really, truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And on, I cannot thank you enough for your comments and for your support on Patreon. Like, it's really, really nice. So thank you so much, and I hope to see you all in the next one.